Today we're going to smoke uh, backwoods and maybe a little smoke. They're really, it's just this outer leaf that has to come off, so. Now. This ain't gonna be pretty. But it's for the culture. The backwoods culture. You can't have any stems, because if they poke through, it's ruined. There we have it. The backwoods. Little pre pre head shit. This dude fucking walks in the room and goes, "Bam!" As if I'm supposed to be excited about this. What is this thing? It's already coming and rolled. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> That's the carb. I grab a sweatshirt. Hitting great. Look at that. And that that is how you roll it backwards. It's hitting good. It's already like soaking wet. Well, that's my fault. Ugh. Unless you really know how to roll one, it burns hella slow. But guess what? This isn't the one. Everybody's um, gonna call me a dick. Everybody's gonna say I'm mean. But I just like, I don't know why we're changing up the blunts we're smoking for. I like your fit. Really, today. no reason. No, I'm not stoning that joint. <laughs> Well, wait, hit it more. Look, it's only halfway yeah, done. Yeah, because I don't fucking like holding these little baby ass. Well, that's half the blunt now. Yeah, but we're like this, like, <laughs> like little fucking savages. We'll start rolling our own blunts. Each person gets a blunt. I'm starting to fuck, fuck share a blunt 2018. I got a Kodak shirt. <laughs> if you're broken, you push me off. Footage, dog. <laughs> Footage. <laughs> Edit that out. <coughs> I have to splice that because I'm so good at splicing it out of context to make it look like you jumped. Like, I don't know what happened, man. We were smoking this fucking kind of shitty backwood, and he was like really trying to pinch it down. He's gonna try to get that every last little bit because there's no filter on it. It's gonna burn our beards. This is a clean shaven fucking flat bill blunt. Well, I'm tattooing today. Whew. I'm dreading it. I'm ready. Like, Excellent. I'm excited. No, no, no. I'm totally excited too, but I just. Wanna see your ribs? Oh, it's already scaled. I didn't realize we scaled it. I'm sitting here like, oh, I'm gonna scale out this for your ribs. Yeah, I guess what color this thing is. Dope. Oh, so. oh, we just got the ribs done. You didn't even remember it. Don't burn your beard. Dude, fuck this thing. I thought you were just smoke. Try again later. It's like a taste. Yep. It's a little taste of some weed. It's like a, it's gourmet. I mean, look at my reaction times. <laughs> Not my high. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I snatched that fucking camera right out of your goddamn hands. You know? It's real weird when he he was like, all you girls that are of age or something. He's like, y'all, all y'all that are old enough to party. And then he said, then he goes something like, who's ready to lose their virginity tonight? And I was just like, okay, that's a little bit weird. The DJ stuff? Yeah, the DJ, the whole like the whole opening of the thing was fucking a DJ for an hour, just playing like the hottest songs, like Post Malone, 21 Set, every little Uzi Vert. Where was it? This was at the Kodak show. Where was in the, the on the stage, like what do you mean? What is the name of the establishment? That this the Ogden is Theater. For? Thank you. The Ogden Theater, yeah. It wasn't even too, it was sold out, but like we were up top. There was plenty of room you could see good. Yeah, it didn't look like it was sketchy. No, it wasn't. It actually made me think like, you know what? This wasn't bad at all. It made me almost think about going to see 21 Savage. Because you know what my thing is now? I want to see if any of these young dudes come out and fucking wild out, dude. Like, right. Why are you like on this mission to see who performs? I just wish. Are you like the new fucking manager? Like, <laughs> like, what are you? What is this road you're going down? You're not a fan. I'm not. I'm no. a fan of Kodak. But I'm saying like, what you're saying now is you're like, I'm gonna fucking go after all these fuck. I'm gonna go see all these rappers and see who's really got it. Like, are you starting the band with P Diddy? Like, what no, are you talking I'm just about? Curious I don't, because because so like, yeah. I read an article that said so little. What got me listening to all this kind of shit is I read an article that said Little Uzi Vert has crowds moshing and crowd surfing and he's fucking crazy. So I'm like, yo, if hip hop, as weird as his kind of music is, has kids wild, I just want to see that shit. It's not hip hop anymore. Music has moved into, it's the exact same fucking formula as punk rock and hardcore that has now been applied to hip hop music. And it's not being applied, it's because different generations grew up with different genres of music, listening to all kinds of different shit. And now it's just being applied. The best energy of any show that you ever would have gone to in the 90s or earlier, or even the early 2000s, are hardcore and punk rock. Yeah. Show. So that energy is now applied to 
fucking hip hop because those dudes, you're not going to see those rappers. Well, so I'm you heard, hoping so you that Kodak is one of my so favorite you rappers. Little, you heard that little Uzi Vert does fucking stage dives and gets super lit at shows. So you went to go see Kodak Black. Well, <laughs> don't quite understand. The, okay, wait a minute. The lineage. That, I understand the confusion there. I just albums. like the whole like, I'm trying to see and I who's got seen it. it. Who's gonna walk to Justin's and get me a cheesecake? Thinking Travis Scott had people at Terminal 5 yeah, jumping Travis off the Scott, five, third balconies. Yeah, Travis Scott starts riots. Yes, that's my point. So like... So you want to go to a riot is what you're I saying. I don't want to be there, but... But you just said that I you want... Do. You just said you did. I did. I'm just trying to figure out where you're going with this. I Everyone's gonna say I'm an asshole. I'm literally just trying to figure out where you're going with this. I don't know where I'm going. That's what um, you gotta know. I never I'm, know where I'm going. I'm <laughs> just out here. I am aware. Then after seeing that, then Brandy was like, what about 21 Savage? We could see him. Maybe, maybe 21 that's... 21 Savage sounds like everybody's gonna be asleep. Yeah, maybe. It's so slow. But that's what I'm saying, 21 Savage isn't known for going crazy. There's literally nothing savage about him except his name. My man just fucking dates Amber Rose and makes kind of like slow songs. He does, he sounds like C-Murder. Yeah, it's like, they're like fucking gangster lullabies. They put me to sleep. All right, let's go. We'll All start right. walking. Time for a haircut, huh? Concer concerning two steps. Concerning, concerning two steps says, Concerning two steps. Listen, Kodak, the first thing you need to do. Okay. Just come on, you're concerning two steps. All right, so. <laughs> Here's the thing. First of all, you came out to a future song. Nobody knew if it's your song, his song, what's going on. Then the show starts, which was great. Do these random intermissions, about five songs in, he just drop in another future song and just kind of walk around stage and chill and people are like, wait, is yeah, dude, he would just like, instead of, maybe he did like 10 songs, but then instead of like an intermission or he comes off stage and they do you know, something. You know why you're having this dilemma in well, your mind? Why? Because you come from a place where you're working with an artist that is trying to grow itself and engage an audience. Just because it's him. And That's he... a difference though. That's a huge difference. You're talking about a fucking legend versus Kodak Black. What's the difference? What's the difference between George Clinton and <laughs> Kodak Black? I'm just kidding. And then my last point is the way that he ended the show, just like the intro, my man finishes the song and then like another like future Young Thug song starts playing and him and his crew just like walk backstage. And then people are like, are they coming back? Is this where you call for an encore? Like nobody knew what to do and every... I don't know. I mean, yeah. If it ended, you, the lights drop, a boom, it ends, and then fucking everyone Kodak, Kodak, and then he comes back out. He's like, yo, and kills it. But no. It sound like the audience is very engaged, right? Because he wasn't engaging him. That's where so, concerning two it steps it comes okay. in. Our conclusion would be that the Kodak Black show is was not that good <laughs> but still being a fan of him seeing him it didn't make me like but you're still a fan of him. That's what I exactly for half an effort and you're still just as much a fan so why because his lyrics speak to me what incentives you being an asshole now what incentive does he have to get better if no one if everyone just keeps going to the shows and everyone fucking even though you're saying you don't like it and you're still just like yeah. he's gonna see this video and i'm gonna incentivize the kodak you hear me <laughs> I don't really understand how you have a scathing review and then you're just like, well, I still feel the same about it, but it doesn't matter. And then the singing songs, it's like my man sings so off key that it's hot, except when you're singing over yourself singing off key and there's two <laughs> off key singing. Yeah, I don't it's really, I think like, you're just basically a fan of Kodak no matter what he does. I think that's what you just need to admit and that's it. Like, but you can't sit here, like, everything you're saying about this show sounds terrible. And then you're still like, but I love it. You're still, <laughs> I love it. It's just like, I mean, it's Millie Vanilli. It's Millie Vanilli as fuck. He said that Millie Vanilli didn't write great music. What? Like, who writes great music here? Like, Kodak think, Black doesn't write great music. Dude, there's something. Get out of here. I know, so you don't believe that. You think I'm trolling I fucking, you. You are fucking crazy. You're just doing this for like. I'm not. You I'm are. Not. It's like a novelty to no, you. No, this is what Brandy thinks too. Because it's true. Everybody thinks I'm trolling. You are trolling. Yeah, no. trolling. You're trolling. So you're telling me that you think Kodak Black is just as good of a writer as Josh? No. Oh, okay. Hold up then. So, how the fuck one of the best writers in the world? Because you keep saying that he makes great, you're saying he writes great music. Who writes better music? I fuck with Josh. No, 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 no. That's not my question. And that's not my question. Put the two people in the same room and you're like, write me, write me a song that's going to make me feel something that I can relate to. Which person is going to fucking come out with a better product? Probably Josh, but I think no. that done here. No, Going but because maybe Kodak would come up with something really hot if he had to. I just feel like he's trolling, and he's just not. I so don't know. So you like Kodak because he makes 
music that you think is a troll? No, that's not what I'm saying either. No, I don't know. I'm, you win this one. Yeah. I'm out. I don't even hate Kodak. I just don't like how you're fucking... Uh, like getting a tattoo or everything spelled wrong. You're like, yeah, there's a lot of words. Clean as fuck. <laughs> Kodak, have your people. Call my people. Yeah, old fucking old concern, he'll come out on tour. Uh, haircut time, finally. And then tattoo time. And I'm gonna stop going off about stuff. You triggered me today, though. I didn't even do any of this. You yeah, start talking about all this crazy stuff. Because you think I'm trolling with Kodak. You are trolling. Look, Josh is like... And honestly, and then you say, if you think Josh, that man is a musical genius. Like, mm -hmm. I think, now, I don't think that Kodak is like that, but I think he writes for being like. But I think when you say something, when you say, like, such and such is an amazing songwriter, that it puts, it puts other people who you say are amazing songwriters in the same place. So it's hard for me to respect one versus the other. Because to me, that means that you, green light, yeah. that means that you look at them as, you know, in the same tier, at least. I mean, and that's just like crazy to me. And I like Kodak's music. I'm not even saying like that I don't like his music. No, but, but it's, it's I not think the it's same very tier. fucking just like stitched together and kind of, you know, on some, I mean, almost like some early bad brain shit where it's like, just kind of rough around the edges, yeah. but that doesn't make it amazing. Like that, that, that again, no, that's, but then, then that's a novelty. Like, you're right, so you're saying like the novelty of that early Bad Brain shit because... The no or the, just the novelty of music that's put together that way. Wu-Tang, the 36 chambers. It's hard to appreciate much Kodak Black now because it's now been flooded. But I also don't think those people are amazing songwriters. Like that's a fucking strong, like, you know. Yeah. It's a fucking strong claim. I don't think that, um... Other guys are. There's some of his songs that he says some shit that I'm like, yo, I think if this dude really, like, I, I, that's There's where I don't There's a million it. dudes on SoundCloud who say like one thing and I get it. That sound cool. Like, I get it. Rap is cool. I get it. Like, can you give me an example of one of these Kodak Black lines that speak to you inside your soul so deeply? I just want to try to relate. <laughs> um. You smoking flaca, all I smoke is gas. <laughs> I don't know, I can't think of what I'm in. Um, I can, this is You were just at the show last night. I yeah. mean, there wasn't like a moment where you and, you oh. shared a moment on the stage with Kodak where he said your favorite line and you're like, this is why I'm here. I love this shit. No, but I did. It was enjoyable. And then there was a twerking intermission. I forgot. Yeah, you're trolling. No, wait. You're trolling. I forgot that part. I hate this because I know as soon as I edit this, I'm going to end up looking like the asshole because I just don't understand. And, and I, again, have nothing against Kodak Black or any real new music, but I'm not going to go as far as you can. Maybe I think you can. that you're acting like rock sh you know, rock music I know evokes saying. the same emotional response that hip hop music does. It's not the same thing. A rock show is a completely different energy than a hip hop show. Yes, but this is why I'm on this quest back to the beginning because <clears throat> that's why I was saying Travis Scott or one of those dudes. I want to be at a riot. No, but do I want to actually see this fucking... I want to see a place live from hip hop because I'm a hip hop fan and it's. I don't think you're gonna get that with that a fucking backing track playing of the whole song and a dude. Does like, Travis Scott roll with backing tracks? That's what I'm wondering. I don't, I don't know. know. I have no idea. I don't, I don't think so because the times that I've seen him like fall off stage and shit, there's no <laughs> backtrack fucking playing. But maybe there's some good. I mean, yeah, and that's what I was saying the other day. People said, you know, people in the comments were like, "Well, Kanye doesn't have." I'm, I'm not talking about those kind of rap. I'm talking about the rappers that you're talking about yeah. who fill up these smaller venues. And I'm gonna probably you drop know. you off in them park that's so cool. you're not late. Yeah, that's it's, cool. It's, I don't know. It's just not a full on show experience if you're used to what you're talking about. Yeah. And that's why I can't sit here and just co sign all this. Like, but ironically enough, you know what those tickets fucking cost? Probably. They didn't even have a light show. It, I get it. I, I, don't I know, know you're just you're thinking, expecting. like, what were yeah, you expecting? I don't even know I, what I, you're I, expecting. Like, Brother Jules had a light, light show. show. I'm out of here. <laughs> okay. But up. Nice. What's better, this song or any song that Kodak Black ever made? This song. <laughs>
There's some Kodak songs just for this guy. This song versus Slogan. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Package? No idea. <laughs> what you did? Jesus Christ. You're crazy. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's something I bought, right? Enjoy, fam. Maybe not. <laughs> oh no, I did. I forgot. I bought a second pair of these. Oh. How about a? Oh, you my told double, me this. Yeah, it's your kiss. It's my double up of a kiss. I was like, "What the fuck did I not get?" I forgot completely. These were even gone. That's when you know November was insane. You bought too many goddamn shoes. Uh, I'll smoke a blunt. Yeah, a real blunt. You roll it. Oh, I'm rolling it. Try calling the motherfucking pro is what you're trying to say. Bro. Needed a pro to roll up today. What? Sorry, what? Oh. Hold on, I gotta set the camera. You just okay. missed my fucking exchange? What? Exchange? I just dumped the weed from here into my hand. Oh, I think I got it. I gotta look now. Shh, the camera is player moving. hating me with the fucking. Hold on. Missing all my tricks. Missing all my tricks. I think yeah. I got it. Oh, yeah, missing all my tricks, are you? Yeah, you don't even know. You never see cocktails? I don't like that weed, you know? That's how I do it. We're just like, roll it off the. Oh, shit. Oh, oh yeah. shit. Yes. That's right, Tom Cruise, eat your fucking heart out. Yeah. What a fucking gnarly saying. Eat your heart out. Eat your heart out. Like, Jesus. Yeah. Who's the savage bitch that came up with that shit? Who's the first person to say that one? Eat your heart out. Oh, yeah, Tommy. Eat your fucking heart out. Oh, yeah, Sir Lancelot. Eat thy heart out of thy chest. Yeah. Taste thy heart from thy chest. Here we go. Here's a blunt to smoke. It'll actually well, get one of us stoned, maybe. We'll see. I mean, we can take this with us if we want to. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Mm. Countdown to pain. Countdown to pain. I'm about to lay your shit up! <laughs> <laughs> you can't wait. What? You can't wait. I'm a good friend. For all the annoyances, you just... That's why I'm so on edge. I've missed just like putting paid on people. Yeah. That's how I deal with my like cathartic. That's cathartic for me. Yeah. It's like, man, I haven't been able to like cause anyone a lot of pain in a while. <laughs> need a vent. I'm so angry. <laughs> oh, Ernie's not wasting any time. Who's honking? We didn't honk at you, yeah. G. Chill. Yeah, I don't know who the fuck Chill. honks. A little phantom honk almost got. I don't know if you're trying to fucking frame you with the honk. I got yeah. to That old dude stared you down like, what? Who honked? FedEx? Woo! 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 When they drive on the grass, it reminds me of Pup G. Ready for him to just come fucking shooting across the way. This is why you shouldn't play video games. You're that person that, like, can't go out into reality. And operate normally after playing because you you can't yeah no this parallel park, well, the parallel gonna park be... i gotta catch just in no. case you get scared and it's gonna be a perfect one yeah, that's a good job yeah that guy almost crashed though yeah that would have been great yeah oh, i'm gonna lose your fucking door jesus Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's already scaled. What is it? A snake? A snake and a girl. Here, tattooed him like two years. <laughs> 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 Are you excited to get tattooed by someone that hasn't tattooed in two years? No. Two years? <laughs> <laughs> it's been two fucking years. Might as well. Three months. Whatever. I got this. I didn't say you didn't. Yo, I can put that stencil on. You're over here drawing it, so. I don't want to put that stencil. Just fuck it with you. I'm just fucking with you. Nah, no, I ain't going nowhere. Sorry, I was just trying Where to bring you down. Where are you going? Fucking nowhere. I'm trying to bring you down. Bring me down. Yeah. Trying to bring you off your high horse. Yeah. You want to work off his? Yeah, that's fine. Whatever's easiest. Thank you. And you got any at table? Yeah, there's ribs. No. 
What's that? Oh, nice. Mushroom. We have a fuck the mushroom in Odyssey. Have you played Odyssey? No. The mushroom's always trying to sell you shit. Really? Yeah, he's like, he's like, uh, you meet him and he's like, oh, uh, he's like, I see you don't have enough gold coins or, you know, I don't, you don't have a map. Would you like to buy it? I'm like, fucking toast yeah. still. You got a little drug dealer. Yeah, yeah fuck out. you're pushing shit. Derek, what does it feel like setting up for Oh It's Teddy once again upon his return to the tat shop? Um, it just, it feels so much better than setting up for other guys, like, because it's Teddy, you know? Right, Cody? <laughs> sucks! <laughs> I, I do it mindlessly. Let's know. Are you getting touching today? Yeah. Cactus nice. on her, man. She's got, she's got some, some of my favorites, for sure. You excited to get tatted today, Irv? Not really, honestly. You excited? Are you going to be using, like, a big old nine mag, just with... Work in progress kind of needle. I'm, like, I'm ready. I've been doing this. Everybody's all like, you're at. Yeah. You got 15 some years in the game, son. They got that fake hand back there if you want to practice a little. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll lace up your neck if you want to switch it right now. We can make your neck piece pop. You want to go ask your wife if it's okay? I'll put her name on it. I need y'all to make fun of him today too on camera, so I don't look like the only one. Justice for Earn. Looks like a color. Justice for Earn. <laughs> I already went off on him this morning about Kodak Black. He's sitting here telling me how bad the Kodak Black show was last night, and then he's like, wow, I love him. I'm like, dude, you're trolling. I was like, you're trolling not only everybody, but yourself at this point. <laughs> there's no website, there's no yeah. brand name. Yeah. How do people, how are people going off? Like, Derek's how are people Oh, you know I'm checking that. That's how you, we got shit we got to start doing. I was waiting for your rehash. I'm in tat drama right now, dog. <laughs> Chill. Tat drama? Tat drama. Oh, shit. Tat drama going on. One back in the shop. Back in the shop for fucking 10 minutes. We're fully in tat drama. Yeah, there's 120 comments, bro. Let's go see if we and then I'll read yeah. all these comments. That's what I was thinking. What a gimmick brought from outsiders to put your beloved one's DNA in your yeah, tattoo. Utter fucking bullshit, fuck the world. Uh, but how could it, if it's that, if that's all it is, how, go read what Mike Rudolph put, or Chris Garber put, it's like ridiculous. If you go to Garber's it's story, out, yeah, he's got like quotes from Chuka Moreno, Valerie Boyle, like, you go watch his story, and it's like, it's like, what, how can these people be like, like this? It's just crazy. I, got, I mean, feel like this is something no one has ever seen or thought about before, so really except for everybody who's ever had a fucking dead homie in a tattoo shop. <laughs> Someone out there. Like really well-known tattooers, basically. It, what it looks like have joined forces with some big company, and they're pretending they're going to revolutionize tattooing by mixing by mixing ashes. Into ink. Into ink. It doesn't say anything in Chris Garber's story. Which story? Which what? The, the joke of it is that... It's just the quotes, like four yeah, quotes. Yeah, you see those quotes? It's kind of outrageous, right? Yeah, it's outrageous. The argument is some guys are saying people have been doing this forever and you're just trying well, yeah, to... yeah, it's gimmicky. It's gimmicky. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter, you know, if that's what it is. But I yeah, think it's crazy. All right, we got to get to work. Resale Valley, man. Yeah. That, that, that's what is, like, crazy to me. Yup. Later. Later. Uh, yeah, get your boy, all right? What up? How you living? It's fucking cold. Hey. Love you. <laughs> Brand peace. Where my shirt? Grab Oh, shit. You hear that? Grab your own Grab shirt. Shit. <laughs> get, get it your yourself. Own. Get Yo, it yourself. Get it in a ghost rider. I'm working on it. I'll write it for you. I know, but it will be as fun. I want to write my own diss track. I dog starts with my diss track, and then you just crying, yes. and like, I just want to talk to you guys about something. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I didn't, I didn't know he could hurt me like this. You ever see MC Chris do that shit, dude? No. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Thank you.
bit. I just let it ride out. How much longer? We're done, son. I can't uh, handle you any longer. Oh, come on. It wasn't Play that bad. <laughs> making some pretty good progress. Shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you sit like a champ. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Son, 800 bucks. <laughs> How you doing, Ern? Feeling good. <laughs> Feeling good. Ready for a little nap? Yeah, no, I'm nappy going poo. out. Nappy poo. No time for naps. No time for naps when you're a fucking as as you social motherfucking butterfly. Oh, I just want to see friends I haven't seen in a while. I think that's called being social. Yeah. Are they? I don't know. I handed them to you. Just like the keys. Oh, oh look, there's an actual parking spot. Shut just parking it. What are we doing? Just back and forth. <laughs> Chase, I wasn't car sick enough. We're yeah. just gonna. Just... He's so funny. <laughs> oh god, he's so cranky right now. Because of his pain. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Should have seen him opening Sager's truck. Half an hour. Thanks. Yeah. You okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Okay. So glad Brandy's here right now. I don't even have to say anything. And you're out of here in eight minutes. <laughs> Whoa. Where'd all this speed come from? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, if, yeah, there's not enough time in the day if you want to do shit and go to rock shows and rap shows every night, I guess. It's a hard life. <laughs> it's a really hard life. Where are you going to go out to eat at tonight? I'm not. Uh, fucking, we're not even eating at this point. Oh, yeah. Oh. You're starving, Brandy, because yep. you're fucking... He starves me often. Uh, don't worry, Brandy. Blink twice if you need help. <laughs> Comments on your tattoo already. I bet Ernie is dying. Wow, great work. I wonder if Ern cried. <laughs> the first two comments. So move it back. No. Why would you drive with the seat not in the right position the whole way? <laughs> it takes two seconds. Mm -hmm. it's, it's unacceptable. <sighs> I don't think he likes the word together. Not only he does either. <laughs> he hates it. It's like fuck. You're out of here, Brand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brand, you ready? I gotta tuck and roll? Yeah, pretty much. Right. Should have been out by now. No. <laughs> I could get hit by a car. This is ridiculous. Stand with Brand. Stand with Brand. Bye. Bye. Stand. All right. Hashtag earns a monster. <laughs> it's always the nice guys that you think, you know? It's never the guy that's up front about his attitude. <laughs> Matt Lauer. <No>. What? <laughs> hey! We should know what you're gonna get with me. Uh, Bitch, I was a snake when you picked me up. Whoa, whoa. 414. Omar's like, what the fuck? Hey, Bubba. Hey. I know. I know. It's been a good day. I know. Oh my god. Come out back. I'll see you later. All right. I'll play with you, Omar, but I'm a pussy. I can't, can't bend over do anything. Rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll. Big long day. No, oh, don't mess with that. I went and picked up Doobie's. Doobie's paw print was at the shop. Day at the tattoo shop. It's been a while. That was fun. I enjoy being back at the shop. I love being at the tattoo shop. So, yeah, that was awesome. Well, at least awesome for me. I don't think Ernie liked it very much. But I'm home and I need to run downstairs because I do know there are some packages down there. At least one. So, I'm gonna go grab it. Let's go on a walk and get these packages. Alright, let's get it. Oh, Alright, oh, I forgot the box. Okay, so, eventful, eventful day. Back at the tattoo shop. I am going to be taking appointments at the tattoo shop on Fridays only right now. Possibly Saturdays, just depending on how my time goes. And then 
you know, slowly I'll be in the shop more and more. Um, and then less when I'm not in town, stuff like that. But I have a lot of clients and a lot of people that want to get tattooed. So I'm trying to make as much time as possible. And I really, really, really enjoy tattooing. It's like, you know, the love of my life. So, but I do think a lot of stuff with tattooing is really stupid. And that's the story for another day. Uh, but the, let's see. So today we're going to talk about some shoes that I have on my feet. But we also got this box in, which I know what it is, but we'll go ahead and open it. We got these in too. Saw it earlier. Actually came from StockX because about a week ago when I got the multicolor Ace 16, I wanted the black one really bad and it sold out of Adidas. It sold out first actually. And then I just bought them resale, which I didn't pay anything crazy. It was like maybe $40 over retail. But then the next day, literally the next day, or maybe two days, they restocked on Adidas and kind of sat there. So that's an L on my part. Somebody had a little nice little come up and you know, but whatever, so no big deal. But here is the box, has 13. Nobody wants to bust these, they all believe me. Um, and nice, and here's the shoe. Boom, boom, boom. This is super clean. So yeah, this is just like the other ones, so nice. Super nice. So we will review these soon. I took a lot of L's on the A16. I have this one that I paid resale for, and they also dropped a white one like this that I paid out the ass for as a sample. Still haven't even worn it. It's just sitting there. So I basically have a sample I paid like 900 bucks for um, because I never thought that the A16 was ever going to come in our in my actual size. And then they dropped it and it sat, and I could probably get it for like you know, a hundred bucks now. So that's the L2. But we'll take a look at these soon. What we're gonna take a look at today, which we've taken a look at a few. So this will be pretty quick in the box. I don't know where the box is, but you know what a fucking human race box looks like. And everyone knows that I don't have a single fake shoe. So the box is a Pharrell box, but this is the multicolor version of the Pharrell Trail Human Race Race. Uh, this says body and earth. I like this lettering with the color combination because the deserty earth colors make me feel like that's, you know, that, that works together basically. So yeah, <clears throat> body and earth. Let's go with body. Your regular Pharrell Trail NMD. So nothing new there as far as what we discussed. The only difference in this one will be the color on the upper, which is obviously a crazy multicolor rainbow spectrum jump off. Jamalam, basically every single color of the rainbow that you can imagine. There is not really any peppering, it's just kind of all woven throughout like a blanket. But it's super, super sick. They did the same kind of color on, they did the same upper color on the low top Pharrell. Doesn't have boost, not quite the same, but same thing with this colorway and the cotton candy colorway. Um, so yeah, multicolor upper. The lettering is white and stitched in on this. Like I said, body, earth. Navy blue laces that match the navy blue heel tab. And then this uh, trail sole is actually like a really dark navy. It's not quite black. And then lemon yellow accents on the sock liner and the cage as well as bricks. And there's also a pair of yellow laces that match that color perfectly that come as an accessory to this shoe included in the box. Um, so yeah, same thing with these on the fit. It's pretty much the same. This feels more like the reigning champ feel. This isn't quite the same as the regular Pharrell knit. The regular Pharrell knit has like little, the only way I can really describe it as pores that go through it. And then this stitching is just completely different. It's like knitting. So there's the sizing's a little bit different, but they're not dramatic enough to where it's gonna like fuck up your vibe. You'll be able to wear your true size. You could probably, you could also half down if you're okay with like a snug fit. And as long as you unlace it, because these, if these, if you leave these laced from the factory, it's really hard to put on your foot. And boost, of course we got boost. Boost, boost, boost. But yeah, this is another really hot colorway. People, again, what's your favorite colorway? What's your favorite colorway? Don't know yet. Obviously love them all, because I got them all, but I think I'm leaning towards the green. I think I'm leaning towards the green color is my favorite. We'll see. I don't really know yet. There's only four of them that came out. I don't have a lot of favorites. That's why I end up collecting or buying a massive amount of things um, is because I can't pick a favorite, so it's hard for me to say. No, sir. That's my box. Oh, go there. Oh. Okay, so this dude has been in the house all day, so I've got to go and play with him basically while I try to vlog. So, uh, yeah, but this is the Pharrell Trail Multicolor. We have an AI drop. If you've seen the robot, I've posted it on Instagram and Twitter. The robot will drop. T-shirts, long sleeves, and hoodies. Whoa! 
dog is crazy. Uh, T, he wants the box. No. So, AI drop, Jesus. AI drop Sunday, will be 10 a.m. Mountain Time. Bam, bam, bam. Everything's been shit from the last drop. I'm gonna get out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.